Hey guys, we've got a fairly short tutorial today and this is going to be showing you how to make a, a mist or a foggy style effect sort of particle system or particle effect. So if I drag my prefab in, you can see that we get a sort of misted area and we get that sort of look because I was trying to create this myself and I you know, went through a lot of stages to try and make it make it work as I wanted it. So this might not be the best for everybody, but as I say, with all particle effect tutorials, obviously you can change it as you wish. Now before you go about creating your particle effect, the one thing that you do want to um, actually import, if not already, is if you right click in your scene and go import package and then particles, you'll want the particles pack that comes default with Unity, with its standard assets. So then we can actually create the um, particle system. So you want to start off by going game object create other than particle system. I've just prefabbed it so I can drag it into my scene as many times as I want. So initially what you're going to want to do in the material slot for the material that we want to choose, we want to choose a material called smoke one and that's one of the materials in um, the legacy particles as I said with unity and what it does is a sort of um, a misted alpha effect and all that's going to have is additive multiply shader to it and we're going to make sure that the actual color is maybe not not fully dark but obviously you can change this depending on what you're looking for but we, you want it so that it's as you done quite dark and the sliders almost all the way at the bottom so once you've done that what you can then do is with, once you've added that you want to make sure that it casts and receives shadows the max particle size is around 0.4 um, normal direction render mode I think they can be kept standard now that's all you need to do for that then you'll pretty much have your particle effect going then what you want to do is make sure that if not already you tick shape you have it as a shape of a cone have the angle around 73 have the radius around 10 have the length 4.5 and have it emit from a volume and then emission you want that set to 6.3 and then keep the um, rate as over time and then you want to go to the the main section at the top and you want to make sure that duration is a thousand looping and pre warmer ticked um, start lifetime 32 start speed 0.26 because we don't want it actually to move that much we want it to maybe differ a little bit then the start size of 5, start rotation of 0. minus 0. 0.28 have the start colour as the white, obviously you can change this you can have the fog going up and down with gravity but I've kept both velocity and um, gravity to zero have it simulating the local workspace play on awake and then the max particles can stay at a thousand so obviously then you can get a fairly varied effect depending how you want your for your fog or smoke or mist or however whatever you want to call it so obviously I'll just run my game I don't know why it's in this scene but for the sake of this you might not see it very well with all the um, image effects on so if I go to my main camera actually and I disable the image effects now you'll be able to see that it maybe looks a little bit more misty walking through this wooded area so obviously you can create a nice effect just with a simple just with a simple material from the standard assets particle system and then just making something with a slight mixture of settings and then you can make yourself a fairly nice effect as ever thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers